Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone back to 2017 March Dota League land in Macau. This is actually the um, second match of the day between Team Virtus Pro versus um, VGJ Storm. You hear me, Cyclops, as your cast. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Well, 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 that was a very good first match between Infamous and TMC. Now, let's take a look into this match. You want to see some stats? All right. VGJ Storm actually played 49 match in the past 30 days. And they got around 55% win rate, while Team VP played 28 match. They only have 50% win rate. The most big hero for Team Vetus Pro is Night Stalker eight times with um kind of weird that they pick this hero a lot, but their win rate is very low. Eight times Night Stalker, 38% win rate. While the most big hero for VGJ Storm is actually Bane nine times with 33% win rate. That is well, people tend to tend to pick the same old thing just to hurt themselves to feel good. It's just like when you are drunk and you text your ex, that's the same thing. Anyway, let's see what is going to be the first pick for Team VJ Storm. Let's talk about the most successful heroes for VGJ Storm. VGJ Storm played a lot of IO games. They play 8 games of IO with 88% win rate. But this game, VJ Storm just gonna go for Sand King. Let's take a look at Team VP. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Virtus Pro. Dire turn team to pick. Virtus Pro. Okay. A uh, spirit for Virtus Pro. Let's secure the support first. I kind of like these two supports. You know the balance between a slow movement hero like a uh, twin head dragon. And a very fast hero like Earth Spirit. But you're gonna need a lot of skills to play a good Earth Spirit. The timing, Five the combination between remaining. spell is very, very hard. You know, like you roll and bowl in and all those stuff. Virtus pros turn to Ancient apparition. Ancient apparition. Both teams just to kill their uh support first this is kind of weird because normally uh in southeast asia we always pick the mid laner in the first phase bp seconds remaining five seconds remaining uh, fact about the team VGJ is have only lost one game out of eight with IO, but no IO this one. VJS have bought the highest number of IO games this month, eight, and the highest win rate. Second is Liquid. That is small fact about VGJS. Let's take a look at the, the, the stats. Some fact you you're gonna need more fact. Five seconds remaining. Solo has the highest carrier win rate on Shadow Demon with 76 of every player. Played a lot of Shadow Demon. But one interesting thing that I want to point it out is the OVJ Storm have the um, have a stand in KP. KP from Newbie. KP, the fact that he can speak English he can, and Chinese. He can play in any top team of the world. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Okay. Dire team pick. Oh my goodness! This is my favorite heroes. 
I love this hero a lot as a caster because because you know when you when you see this hero in the lineup, it's gonna be a really really ten seconds remaining fucked match like like blood bot what can I say I mean I mean the fact that he 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 got like um rocket barrage that is that is quite huge in in early game but gyrocopter these days not maxing rocket barrage anymore uh he he they will always go for something like um homing missile great the most picked heroes all teams globally is actually Puck. Puck has been picked like 163 times with the 52% win rate. Sand King 163 times as well with only around 46% win rate. All these stats are gathered by Matt McLeod, my stats man. Thanks, Matt. Legion Commander for VGJ Stone. Ten seconds. The storm most banned against Io and Winter Wyvern. Remaining. Dire team pick. Double Charmin. Double Charmin for Team Vetus Pro. So how? Who gonna be playing support now? Might be Earth Spirit as a core, or who knows? It might be Double Charmin mid. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. One minute left for Team VGJ Storm. Snake King is a drafter. It's gonna be a uh, Legion Commander for standing KP, I believe. Ramses, young boy. Ratcha is a drafter for Team. Beautiful pros turn to back. Night Stealer. Night Stealer. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Dire team ban. Interesting. Secure mid. Ten seconds remaining. Hero off. Five but I remember remaining. once uh, in a TI TI seven qualifiers, Mineski used to run Charo Chaman mid <laughs> with with Mushi. I I remember. Actually, it's fanatic fanatic Mushi Charo Chaman mid and Lena playing as a support, and I remember that game. They were they they were crushed. So hard by the opponent. So yeah, should be the hero as a core, I believe. Dire team pick. Lancer. A dead prophet has been banned out. Beautiful pros turn to pick Medusa. It's a Medusa once again for VGJ Storm. As I mentioned earlier, that Medusa these days are not the late game heroes anymore. He's more like um he he's wrong right from the start. Playing mid so good. Outworld Devourer for Vetus Pro. Nice. Pacha. Oh, they put KP playing Light Stealer. Ten 
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Oh, I was I was waiting for them to go into the game. It seems like they are having some sound issues. Bit. All right, finally. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a game. We're gonna do some quick intro for you guys who play who this one. For Team uh, VP on a Radiant side, uh, Ramses on Caracopter Arts File on Top Charmin, the uh, No One on Outworld Devourer, Nai Pacha Beshu on Takiro, Lil on Earth Spirit for VJ Storm on the. Oops. Ah, oh, okay. For VJ Storm on the uh, Dire side, Stan King on Ancient Apparition. Uh, Rioya on Medusa, Snake King on Legion Commander, Flea on Sand King, and KP on the Life Dealer. They find uh, this Gyrocopter, but he went back into the tower, so. It's gonna be two body rune for both teams. Snaking. The battle begins. Rolling boulder. Stan King turn on the open wound right here. No, that's the easy first blood. Burrow strike inside and Lil, the first one who goes down. Ramses. So in the middle lane, it's going to be Outworld Devourer of course, with this Medusa right here. Rolling Boulder inside, real yard. You have to be careful about the um, the combo between uh, Astro Imprisonment and the Rolling Boulder. Knife and Chabeshu on top. Playing the Kiro off lane with the boot first. Chabeshu. Bottom lane, uh, Gyrocopter. 
and tell Charmin was a snake king. Legion commander. I think Astai might have to uh, stand a bit in front in order to stone the snake king out. But you need to be careful because Snake King has also got a lot of base damage. That's what I'm talking about. The very good combo, the Asshorn Prisoner and a Rolling Border. No one just gonna spam that. I mean, no one will spam that. KP, however, finished somebody off on top with the help of Niper Chaper Chu. And uh, I'm sorry, with the Flea and Stand King. It's all about the zoning uh, right now. Just make sure that the core hero can farm safe. Top lane KP got a very good farm as well. Uh, 11 last hit and 69. Quite hard for Nai Pache. Flea is here. No way you can kill that no one. Outward Devourer last week is actually not bad to deal with the Medusa. KP versus Nai Pache. Now this is actually going to be the first time roaming out by Team VJ Storm. Here comes the uh, Sand King, no middle lane first. Uh, Outworld Devourer combo, the Astron Prisoner and a Rolling Boulder. It's just going to hurt that real once again. Now look at this one, Smoke comes in. Never know anything for our style. Burrow Strike comes out. Very easy kill by Stan King. Nice gank this one by Team VJ Storm. Taking three kills in the first five, uh, I'm sorry, three minutes. Astro imprisonment and rolling boulder is just gonna hurt real bad. That is the kill. VP finish off the uh, VGJ Storm mid laner, but that might have to trade with the uh, position four life. No. Got to way. The Lil. Hey, how, how I I want to ask you guys for the feedback. How you like my new assisted camera? Because I just started to use this. It's actually my first time using the assisted camera. So uh, if I did any mistake about missing kills, out, I might have to say sorry about that. But no, I'm not gonna miss on this one. Standing art style, finish off snaking with a rocket barrage. Ring of Aquila. Oh no, no one. Flea is here, ready to go in. Uh, I think no one sees uh, Stan King already. Eat his out. Burrow strike, maybe. You think you think it's gonna be enough? But no, that's gonna strike first for Team VP. Rolling Boulder and Boulder Smash back to the tower. Tower mid tier one shooting on that real yard. Real yard running away. There's no one that's trying to chase on in real yard. One hit on real yard. Two hit on real yard. No one. Maybe three. Oh, tower shooting on no one. Now he's just gonna use that uh, S1 Prism on himself. Come out. Uh, very warm welcome with the Burrow Strike. And no one is actually the one who goes out in this situation. Hmm. Uh, style. Knife and Chibichu on top lane. Gotta run away from that KP. Ramses. Having a pretty okay farm at the bottom. Almost level 5. 
Burrow strike on that art style. Art style that's doing some castle snaking comes in to help. Art style. Killing three for Stan King's already finished that art style off with the cold feet. Invisibility. Network still the life dealer. KP stand in from newbie. Playing post one for uh, Team VJ Storm in this tournament. Let's see how far VJ Storm could go on this one. Rocket Barrage. He's just gonna go for Storm King. Rolling motor inside and Rocket Barrage comes out as Dan King. Killing spree broken by Ramses. 666. Not bad, he's getting um, 235 gold for that. Another rolling boulder inside, that's Snake King. Boulder smash and a tackle. Maybe another rocket barrage would be great, but the Sand King teleport down and to save his hard carry. Snake King seems like Lil getting ganked down and that's gonna be the damage added to, into the Legion Commander. Tackle comes out. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to fight. Uh, Snake King, pretty strong. He's just gonna give away the kills to that flea. Flea got the kill, would be doing another burrow strike, would be a great idea. Nope, he's just gonna retreat. VJ Storm got a very good early game, ladies and gentlemen. They are ahead more than 1k. He's just gonna roaming back to the middle. Flea. Flea level 4, Stan King level 4, Flea goes in first. Burrow Strike comes out, uh, Mana lets uh, that Outworld Devourer, no one trying to go into the tree line, but no. Another great gang coming out from Storm Flea. And what I notice about this, this Team VJ Storm is they always have their two supporters roaming together. You know, they, they are not going to come alone like Sand King and the Cores, but the Sand King always there. Ancient Apparition too. This is this is pretty much like a old school style where two guys roaming all the time. Because normally these days they only use position four to roam and position five to stay with a hard carry. First time using call down and trying to do some bonus map, but he kinda of missed naking, turning from bad to good, from good to bad for the gyrocopter. Now he kinda of stuck in a duo! Slash him all off, and that's another air damage, and, but can he get away alive? Burrow Swipe on two by Stormflee. What a good uh, positioning by Stormflee. Rolling boulder, boulder smash, has killed the hard carries already. Next one gonna be Ancient Apparition as a support. Sand King down because of the drop wave. The Knight dropping an iPad up by that Niper Char. Finally, the uh, off laners started to join the team fight. Maybe it's time. I mean, I mean, he got enough level of the liquid fire, and he, he already got an ice pot. So, yeah, I think it's time to help. Nine to five game score. A lot of smoke comes out from Team VJ Storm. The hero on the way to a four star in order to be safe from the uh, life stealer. I think everyone, every support of Team VJ Storm have to buy a uh, uh, actually, the <laughs> life stealer is on that side. Uh, what am I talking about? I look at this, no one might get ganked right here. Mm, Waiting off for it difficult. for snaking. Snaking doesn't have a blink actor. All he'd have to do is just walk in just like that. Smoke revealed. And it seems like that uh, outworld devourer knows about it. Ramses on top. Radiant Art style is a target, snaking. Kinda hesitate for snaking. Dropping a hole down in order to clear all the creep wave for Ramses. From lane 9 for Chevy Shoe. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Storm Flea. Radiant are scanning. Level 5 Storm Flea. Radiant's top tower is 
Nice at all. Almost beats the action in the middle lane. Right here, it's gonna be the first big team fight in this game. A duel comes out, getting out the damage. I style, thank you for becoming a part of me, I style. Snake King said. Uh, <laughs> that is fight, man. It's a teleport down, a VGJ storm, a very fast reaction time. Then how are they gonna spread down and farm? They're gonna push. Sand King to the bottom, and the rest go to top. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Twelve minutes far. Let's take a look at the graph a bit. Still up and down, up and down. Network played by VJ Stone, but the experience earned are on VP side. I was meant to have this. Storm fleet. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Invisible for 9 punch heavy shoes. They are up to something. They're trying to kill that real yard. Rolling order in. Uh, teleport down for the Sand King. It's not that easy to take down that middle zone with the full mana. But it's gonna be another big team fight once again. Let's see how they're gonna start this one out. Uh, Medusa on a stone gaze, trying to slow everyone down, and that's gonna be a tough time, and might die without using any single spells. Nice one by Medusa. Uh, killing spree, already dropping an ice part right here. Double um, duo bread. Come out. That's not a good way to walk into a team fight when you play a tough time and you walk into the middle of the fight and you are slow and kinda of squishy. Well, they say that that's not a good positioning for the Chow Cham. Naipache, Snake King. Ooh, solo kill on Ramses. Using a duel, 30 damage already. He didn't even have his second items up yet. Diving inside for KP, turn on his open moon art style and try to lure that KP into the tree line he, so he can just hex and, and check on him. Nipa Chebichu. This is a core Jakiro, level 11. And that's his hits uh, skill build. When uh, he max liquid fire. Uh, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle no tower one. is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Back to the bottom lane and just put the mad serpent wards or tower. Dropping an ice pot. Animators on the way. Outworld Devourer. Alright. It's time to do some smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Lead by Lil. Maybe a rolling boulder inside. Art style. Four assists already for Lil. Kinda annoying. When when you play um, against Earth a good Earth Spirit, he will be everywhere. Rolling boulder, boulder smash, and also some silence. And I hate this here. Look at this one. First, diving inside for Snake King. They need more in order to defend the dive. Uh, dropping an iPad right there, and here come the macro pile as well. The uh, uh, spirit rolling ball, the ball is mad. KP. Magnetai still dealing a lot of damage. A nice save by Nine Pache. Been trying to get uh, away from that dive. Good technique. Dyer's top tower. Under Sand King Storm Fleet. He jumped away. Very nice play by Sand King. Quite brave. And that's a killing spree for Snake King. Looking very bad for Vitas Pro in this one. I'm not sure. Is it because of the standing? Yeah, but that standing.
Ken is actually one of the best players in the world. Uh, they have KP as a stand. No, actually KP are on VJ Storm. But yeah, Team Vitus Pro also playing with one stand in, which is art style. Did yeah, stand in art style playing position 5. Look at the chase on the bomb lane first. Uh, nice shooting on that. Rocket Barrage is gonna deal the job. Ramses. Nice kill. Ramses. Not sure about his next item. Might be. It might be Sentin Yasha first. And then just get the Black King bar. Gyrocopter and Troll Warlord actually have the same item build. And, and they're gonna get it. Um. I mean, and the same thing about these two heroes is you can't do anything without a Black King bar. So, Gyrocopter still need long way, uh, still have long way to go with the Sentinel Yasha. And with this farming rate, he's gonna get his Black King bar up around 25 minutes. And then that that's when he become effective, like fully effective in team fight. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Epicenter Burst Strike right comes out. The Arch Knight is target as the same, and uh, KP finish him all off. Uh, rolling ball, the ball is mad, and he died right inside. Uh, Stone Flea goes down. Uh, no one is actually a trade between the position 5 and position 4. It's a good trade uh, for Team VP. This one. Stand King of 1k gold in his pocket. Let's take a look at this. Almost 250 gold. How they gonna get this guy? The rolling ball, the bonus man trying to slide on him. The KP trying to run away with the open wound. Can he just heck? He gonna get hex? No. Still on the open wound status. Uh, I'm sorry, the raid status. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Got away so close. Got a copter. Somebody disconnected. Alright, it's time to show you guys uh, all the infos. Mouse. I'm not sure if it's his mouse or actually... Ready? Bottom tower about to go down. He's snaking to slash the tower off. Under Playing that Jakiro as a core is so uh, uh, the Kiro as a core is such a fun hero to play. You get a lot of experience. You got a lot of um, damage from your spells like liquid fire and all these ice part will be so annoying in a team fight as it can divide uh, your uh, standing position into two parts. And when you are divided, that's when you die. Storm Rhea. Just gonna strike inside for the Earth Spirit. Nice start. Dropping an iPad on there. Tanking a lot of damage for the Metal Sound. And finally, he goes in with a Burrow Swipe, but no way to use his ultimate though. Because they all melted down so quick. Uh, Gyrocopter, the main damage of Team Vitus Pro, just gone for the first one. Rolling Boulder, Burrow's Man in order to stop them all. Burrow Swipe finally comes out. Uh, Man, VGJ Storm uh, looking so strong in his team fight. Why to stop the invasions of Team VGJ Storm? A Nipa Chebishu dropping a macro pie right there. 
finally comes out with the AP center barrel strike and trying to kill the outworld devourer open wound already on him for time into the high ground Niper Chebichu being chased down by the KP one hit KP dominating a jackal comes out and at least they get something back which is a sand king that is a fight with cat seems like team out VJ Storm is doing some fake B tactics right here. KP turn on his rage in order to be safe from that high style hex and the shackle. Legion command. Got a lot of kills and levels, but he still doesn't have his um, third item up yet. Got blink, got boots. Still need something like a blade mail. And it seems like he's just gonna go straight for the Black King bar. This is not bad. Huh? Now look at that U Scepter first. Dropping an Ice Pod. And it's gonna be a Light Stealer. He's gonna be Roasted Light Stealer right there. But no, he's gonna be fine. Open the raid and he just goes straight for the bottom of the of the evil thing right here man kills 3 4 in matter of seconds vj storm Radiance the last pick uh, i'm sorry the fourth pick life stealer is actually hurting venus pro so bad right now as they cannot do anything when this guy turn on the rage desolator and an armor of origin and a face boot already Bottom tower has oh, a great gone. draft by snaking. Legion Commander, like I mentioned earlier, he finished oh, off his blade mail. It'll be quite dangerous for Team Venus Pro to come out and farm. Let's take a look at the uh, map control of Team Venus Pro. This. Only here and here, that's all. They should have some map control here. Life Stealer inside the Legion Commander duel. Life Stealer bombs right there. Maybe a duel. No, you're not going for Nipa Chebe Chu. Then you're going for who? For the top lane he goes. He'd have to finish off. Dark side right here. Maybe a duel. No, not gonna go for the Doomer. Unstoppable's already through the Light Dealer. Man, that hard carries of Team Vita Scroll is not strong enough to fight the carries of Team VGJ Storm yet. But however, they managed to finish off that Snake King. They lost 3 though. On the high ground, Will you are waiting for you guys. Uh, turning everyone into stone and uh, smiling over there. Come on, man. Welcome to the house. And that is actually the full house kill by team VJ Storm J. Twenty-eight to ten game score. Getting wrapped around not so hard by Team Readers Pro. I am not sure if uh, I mean the fact that they play with one stand in I actually hurt their gameplay. One of the best teams in the world, Venus Pro, are in a super hard situation in the game right now. It seems like Lil cannot just normally Team Venus Pro always they are the team that that is, that is always dominated in in the early game. I mean, if you are the fan of S F Ten K, you know that. Venus Pro is very strong in the early game. Their roam, their their um, counter gank part is just too good. But it seems like this game maybe a bit too early for them in the morning. Might need to warm up a bit for the team. Instead of finishing the. Uh, Sent in Yachat.
you're just gonna go straight to a black king bar like i mentioned earlier that black king bar is really really important for team Vitas pro carrying right now outworld devourer gonna go for a blink dagger for an easy kill on the support and a proper positioning to drop uh send the eclipse and free attack Wedding outside. Radiant kind of scary, tower. man. Whoever comes in and trying to defend the mid tier tower is going Radiant down for sure. Has been Our plane, KP, now a duel, but a rolling boulder away for a bit. Being dragged back. That's another damage add. 72 damage already for the Legion commander. Then 10k I think in fear of Team VJ Storm Real Yar. Well, we're striking. Now time. Hard start on so quick. Let's see if we the scroll want to fight here. But no, I don't think they will because Real Yar already got a double kill. Medusa is ready to push you in. Dub damage, man. And a duel comes out inside the base. Nice save with Ash from Prison Man. Can he? You step on himself and become down and just gonna use the uh, ice part? No? Force up away, trying to get away from the danger, but no, not gonna make it. 30 seconds, and he bought back right away for the Twin Head Dragon. He's the most important hero when it comes to defense. Now, if I check it through, Burrow Strike inside, release a Life Dealer! Double kills already, buy back, die back, dropping some Sene Eclipse with a zero damage, perfect timing, using his rage for the KP, and then he's just gonna finish them all off, GG the WP! VJ Storm finishing Virus Pro in the first game of MDL land. Gonna take a break for a few minutes, guys.